Hey there, quick video. Things are insane out there. There is so much new excitement and energy for Kamala Harris. And it's expanding. Like I said the other day, it's expanding and growing and it's gonna continue to do so. But this little video I'm sharing with you is a cautionary tale I think we should enjoy the ride, but I feel as if, you know, Biden gave her, her bless, gave her his blessing. She got most of the delegates she needs to um, get the nomination. It hasn't completely been set in stone yet, but that's generally is probably gonna happen. I didn't pull cards on if she will get the nomination, but my sense is she will. I think there'll be one or two people that might compete against her. The point is, whenever I'm in a situation where I find it's overwhelming and the energy out there, and I'm in Canada and I feel it here, people are very excited all over the world. I've gotten comments from people all over the world because we, the United States, affects everybody. What happens here affects everybody. So. I sense that there's this drawing of energy that is coming towards the US and the media or you know TV online podcasts whatever they are they're going to dissect her into tiny bits and two things I'm cautioned to not watch it or live, you know, I'm gonna use my own judgment. And I wanted to say this too, is when I saw her speak this morning somewhere, oh my gosh, so much better. When she was running for president before a few years ago, she seemed kind of fake and inauthentic. And I've said this before to you guys, but I don't know, she must be learning from Biden or she, maybe she's had a lot more experience in these situations, but she is so much better and calmer centered, grounded. So <laughs> whoever said the grounded root vegetables, that's what I feel too. Yes. But the energy is so crazy and she made a hundred million dollars in the last 48 hours. It feels too much too fast. It's like when you go to a party and it seems like it's great at the beginning. Everybody's super excited. You're happy to be there. And all of a sudden, Oh, somebody gets a little too drunk or knocks something over and then somebody gets mad and then this happens and then there's a fight and there's more, you know, alcohol and the police come and it's loud. <laughs> Not that I've been to that many parties like that, but I'd like us, if I can't really do anything about it, but for me, and you could use this or not, I'm going to pace myself. I'm going to enjoy the moment because it is very exciting. It's energizing. Um, but I also want to take everything with a grain of salt because probably at some point they're going to start taking her apart, not just Trump's team, but a lot of different because they're going to question, can she beat him? Can she beat him? So they're going to talk about all her faults or problems. And I just want us to remember it's still media and they still have to sell uh, minutes on the television or online and they have to promote fear and drama. And they're using whatever they can. So maybe stand back a little bit, observe, put your drink down, get ready to leave <laughs> if it gets too wild. Uh, and uh, like a party, like I was saying. But enjoy it because I think she's on her way. I really am excited about it. I just want to, you know, to... Um, Feel the energy and raise the vibration for all of us Americans to move forward and supporting her. And that little ball of light that I see, I had Joe Biden's little heart in it and we're going over the election finish line. I think he's helping her, but also the whole team is helping her and she's helping, you know, because of her um, energy. So anyway. I was kind of rambly. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, deep breaths. It's all good. It's really good. So, um, till next time. Take care.